I'm Margo Lane. And I'm Bob Spicer, and this is your Lake of the Ozark News Update, brought to you by Lake TV and sponsored by High V in Osage Beach and Sir Dyke Yamaha. Today we'll talk about a local murder trial that came to a resolution last week. A couple of lakefront restaurants looking to expand their operations. And a suspicious letter in Stover temporarily shuts down the town. And all that and more coming after a word from High V in Osage Beach. Meet Walt, our local High V pharmacist. He's highly trained to counsel, support, and care for your chronic and complex medical needs. High V Pharmacy Solutions is your complete source for specialized pharmacy services. Meet Amy, our local High V dietitian. She's our most credible source of food and nutrition information. She's your go-to for shopping tours that focus on your diet needs. You can even take a biometric screening on site. At High V and Osage Beach, our health experts can't wait to meet you. This past Tuesday, February 14th, after more than six hours of deliberation, a jury found Susan Liz Van Note not guilty for murdering her father and his fiance. This is one of the most high profile cases to shake our area in more than a decade. No forensic evidence such as weapons, DNA, or fingerprints was found that, that placed Ms. Van Note at the scene. At this point, we are unsure whether the state of Missouri and local law enforcement are investigating any other possible suspects. Possibility of a new lakefront restaurant and bar with a marine service center opening likened to that of Waddington's Redhead Lakeside Grill in Osage Beach was well received on Wednesday at a permit hearing the proposal establishment the proposed establishment would stretch from W investments to just north of Highway 5 Niangwa Bridge. This proposed business will be located at the former Forever Houseboat Rental Company and will feature a swimming pool with outdoor seating along with live and non-live music. And according to Lake News Online, Waddington has agreed through the permit process to limit the live music to noon to 9 p.m. Sundays through Thursdays and noon to 10 p.m. Fridays, Saturdays, and holidays. Business hours would be 10.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. weekdays and 11 a.m. to midnight on weekends. And though plans are currently in the preliminary stage, Waddington anticipates opening the restaurant and bar either in the spring of 2018 or 2019. In similar news, it looks like restaurants with outdoor bars and family-friendly swimming pools are well-received all over the lake area and are almost becoming a necessity in order to keep up with the Joneses. Dog Days is now requesting a zoning change that will allow the construction of an outdoor bar with a swimming pool that also boasts a new building that will include a kitchen, gift shop, and restrooms. It is planned that the stage dance floor will be moved to the outdoor bar area that overlooks the lake and the pool will be built where the stage dance floor is currently located. Final approval is expected the March 2nd meeting of the Osage Beach Board of Aldermen. On Saturday, January 28th, a burglary report was issued by the occupants of a residence in the 4700 block of Horseshoe Bend Parkway to the Camden County Sheriff's Department. Throughout the investigation, authorities received a tip that some of the stolen property had been listed for sale on Craigslist. Arrangements were made to meet with the seller, Dale Edwards, 46 of Lake Ozark, Missouri. Dale was arrested on January 29th and charged with stealing and a probation violation along with being arrested on an outstanding domestic assault warrant. Last week, an active shooter drill took place at an old building at Port Arrowhead in Lake Ozark. The drill was arranged by Valley's TMS, which is a group of specialized individuals from Central Missouri that organized this real-life drill from Lake Ozark Fire and EMS personnel, along with Lake West Ambulance. Members of the department appreciate the training on these unspeakable yet possible real-life scenarios considering the wave of recent shootings around the world. Valley TMS hopes to expand this program to schools, malls, and other large buildings in order to train as many people as possible. Last Thursday, Stover Police responded uh, to the Phillips 66 gas station at the corner of Highway 52 and Highway 135. They were called by a female. She had opened her mail only to find it coated in a powdery white substance and due to the letter coming from a business unknown, and the unknown nature of the powdery residue, the area around the gas station was shut down and a hazmat team was called in from Jeff City to investigate. During that investigation, Chief Jackson and Trooper Campbell of the Missouri Highway Patrol attempted to track down where the letter had come from. So they discovered that the letter had been sent to her from her family in California in a reused envelope from an elementary school. So based upon that information, they opened back up the track and cleaned up the investigation. The new governor of Missouri announced a one-fifth reduction in tourism promotion as a portion of an overall budget cut of $146 million. Previously, it was expected that the budget would increase for tourism by the same amount. Therefore, even though tourism will not see the inflated budget it was expecting, 
It will not suffer any cuts from the 2016 budget either. Leaders are thankful for the frozen budget from the previous year so they can continue to promote the lake area and other great Missouri destinations. An Eldon woman has been sentenced to 10 years in Missouri Corrections after an October 2016 arrest resulting from a drug bust at the Eldon Taco Bell. 54-year-old Beverly J. McConnell received the sentence after Eldon police were alerted to suspicious activity at the restaurant's drive through Subsequent car search by police led to the discovery of drug paraphernalia and an amount of methamphetamine that indicated she had been a distributor. McConnell also received seven years for an unrelated drug case for possession of a controlled substance. It's been ordered that these sentences are to be served concurrently. Coming up, events coming to Lake this week. All that and more after word from Sir Dyke Yamaha. At Sir Dyke Yamaha, we've been selling and servicing the Ozarks for over 45 years. We've learned during that time that our customers expect the best in their Yamaha Wave Runners with same-day service and courtesy loaner units. That's why for a limited time, you will receive one year of free scheduled maintenance with every new and used recreational Yamaha Wave Runner bought. You can have more fun with your Yamaha Wave Runner that's assembled right here in the USA and won't have to worry about maintenance costs for the first year because it's on us. You run on a reputation. This past Saturday, the lake held its annual Mardi Gras pub crawl. This pub crawl is the largest in the world, with 17 area restaurants and bars participating. Once again, participating establishments saw great traffic and a great time was held by all. No doubt partially thanks to the unseasonably warm February weather drawing in crowds. Final numbers will be released at, the, at a later date, but at this point it looks like the event was another smashing success. Lake of the Ozarks Bridal Show is being held February 28th from 11 a.m. to 3 at the Lodge of the Four Seasons. Admissions only five bucks. Offers access to view a wide variety of wedding styles and ideas to incorporate into your perfect day. Displayed wedding concepts will range from the simplest of ceremonies to the most extravagant of affairs. Something for everyone. Every registered bride will receive a swag bag and chances to win other prizes. Friday kicked off activities for this coming Saturday's Polar Bear Plunge. Cops on Top was held Friday at the hy gas station on Osage Beach where police officers and employees from other local businesses camped out on its roof to help raise money for the Polar Bear Plunge, which raises money for the Missouri Special Olympics. Saturday's events start with the Polar Bear Strut at 8 a.m. at Osage Beach City Hall. A minimum of $50 must be raised by participants to be able to take part in this portion of the day's activities. Then at 2 p.m., the big plunge takes place in the not-so-frigid waters this year at Public Beach No. 2 in Osage Beach. For more on these and other events around the lake, check out funlake.com. I'm Margo Lane, and this has been your Lake of the Ozarks News Update. Thanks for watching us on Como Connect Channel 90, and watch anytime on mylaketv.com. And remember to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter at MyLakeTV, and check out our Instagram page at handle my underscore lake TV. And for Margo and the entire news team, from here at the Lake of the Ozarks TV News Studio, I'm Bob Spicer. Have a great day. I do have to address something from last week. <laughs> Bob, I cannot break the hearts of a bunch of women around the Lake of the Ozarks. So you're still going to be a bachelor, okay? Could you're you, still single. Could you give me the names and addresses of those, uh, those women? No, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> you guys have a good week. <laughs>